This video is brought to you by ProBoxingSupplies.com where you can receive 25% off your purchase now. And PowerPerformanceProducts.com where you can receive $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. Spencer Lazara, MMA Interviews.tv. I'm alongside a victorious Paul Sass. Just got a submission victory, round one, over Jacob Oldman here at UFC 146. Must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. It's a, it was the biggest fight in my career on the biggest stage. And um, I'm, I'm really happy how I performed. Were you surprised that it, the submission came kind of as easily as it did? A little bit, yeah. Um, I think he he got a bit scared inside my uh, guards. And I was just going for submission after submission. I think I went for a guillotine and a, an omoplata. And he, he came back into my guard, I think, again. And I kept on his, I kept on his posture. And um, snuck a triangle in. I think if it, it, it tapped off the armbar a bit more though than the triangle. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, you know, you went to the ground. You actually pulled guard in the fight. So t talk us through that and just like you said, the sequence of submission attempts before you got the, the armbar triangle. I think I, yeah, I ends up a bit close on the scene and coming in a little bit. So I think I jumped to half guard. I think it was, and if, if he went for to wrap a guillotine, which I remember now, and. Um, I got I got out of it and um, went to my guards and then worked on my submission there and I got the triangle armbar I think it was. Yeah, I mean, were you you're pretty comfortable as soon as that thing hits the mat? You're like, okay, this is where I want to be. Were you surprised he didn't fight or or get up when he came out of your guard that he didn't stand? I don't a little bit. I think he he said he was going to show a bit more stand up and I was and we we just never <laughs> it was I don't know, I think we both went to where we were more, more comfortable in the fights. Yeah, I mean, you came out real low, though. Your center of gravity was real low. Yeah. Did you expect, were you, you know, that made me think, oh, maybe he doesn't want to go to the ground, but then you pulled the guard. Was there any, what was the game plan? A bit of both. Like, um, I wanted to stand, like, that's why uh, my stance was low. And um, and if it did get close, jump to guard. So that, that was the source of my game plan, yeah. Were you surprised you were such an underdog? You were almost a two-to-one underdog. Was I, um, not really, a little bit. I knew I'm always the underdog in fights, like every fight I've had on my career, I've always been the underdog. I've always had tough fights and um, I weren't really surprised, no. There's some good uh, jujitsu guys at 155, of course. Stack Division, Mark Bocek, Jim Miller, some of these guys, Nate Diaz. Where do you think you fit in in terms of your grappling in, in the division? Um, I don't know, I think man's uh, a little bit different today. So, uh, I'm on my back and I know there's other people good off the back and uh, Jiu Jitsu as in the uh, lightweights. Where um, I think um, I think I might have like the best statistics if you get what I mean, like more subs or more first round subs or yeah. Anybody stick out for who you're gonna face next? Um, not really. No, I, I would just like I said, uh, I like to get on the maybe the UK card that's coming in in September. And that's gonna be what man getting on that. Godspeed and party on.